So I'm about to do some work in the tank and I thought I'd do a walkthrough real quick just so we could see how I make decisions and how I track things and assess coral health. Um, the tank's looking pretty decent so far today. Uh, over here, this big coral and this big one over here are getting pretty thick. So I probably have to cut those back at some point. Not gonna do that today. This uh, area down here looks a little light to me so I might consider removing a bunch of these uh, palithoas and putting something else there. Um, and this corner is traditionally terrible. There's just not much that can grow right there, but uh, I'm not sure I have any ideas for that right now. So let's move in and we'll take a look at what's going on. Uh, this side looks pretty good. I recently just trimmed this coral here. So there was space between this area, uh, actually between uh, this Walt Disney and this over here. Uh, Walt Disney seems to be doing fine. Uh, it's uh, fighting with the setosa a little bit. The pearl berry up uh, on top of it right there has got some really nice color coming in. Uh, this coral here I got from Aquatic Collections. Uh, it's not doing so well. I think it was covered with red bugs and may have had some aqua eating flatworms, but it's doing better now. And behind there, the Hawkins is doing great. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Um, this uh, fuzzy guy back here is doing really well. It's a piece I got from Aquatic Collections. I had grown up, don't know what it is. The tuba pore is doing good. This coral here is a coral from, um, uh, from Unique Corals. It's uh, from Quaj, uh, and it's doing very well, and I'm very happy about that, because I've been to Quaj. This back here is one of my pieces of the $500 eFlow. It's going like gangbusters, very happy with that. Let's see, what else can I tell you on this side? Uh, these pieces of dendro are not doing well. When I fed heavily, they're out a lot more. It's early morning, so a lot of the MPS are closed up. Um, so I might wanna get some, try some more over there, replace it. The other MPS are doing just fine. These guys, these guys, and these guys are all looking really good. Uh, this is an experimental piece. You can see where it's being kept. Uh, it's very low and without a lot of light. It's a Tongan coral and it seems to be doing just fine. I have pieces of it up. Oh, you can't really even see them because they're covered, but uh, they're, it's growing fine. This here, this piece here had some acro eating flatworms on it and some eggs. We talked about it on the podcast. It's looking much better after the dips and the glues. Uh, the red dragons are doing fine. They're coloring up. Most of this side is looking pretty good. Um, I'm just looking at stuff that I'm planning on working on. All these guys are looking good after the, uh, the red bug treatment. They're coloring back up. Uh, these dendros are doing fine. These dendros here open up um, when a lot of food is going on, but they're not looking so great. So I may replace them or put something else there. I'm trying to get my head around what's going on and what I'm looking for when I go to the local fish store. Um, there's a, uh, where is it? There, there's some feeding tentacles. So that's always fun on the candy canes. The candy canes look fine. I gotta blow this piece of, this little bit of sand off. I gotta think about moving this scoli because it's getting overrun by this andata which is growing back into the darkness. Let's see, all of these GSP are closed up right now, but they usually look better than that. These guys are all looking okay. You know, here's, here's some, you know, leftovers from the problem a couple of years ago, but some of the dendros are looking really nice even right now. Um, all of this was dying and it seems to be coming back very nicely. Um, this here is a piece of blue tenuous and uh, it's not doing well this is a piece i got from a local reefer and i experiment with it uh, i put another piece of it right there and it's also not doing well it's losing tissue but that's the only corals that are losing tissue in the whole system so i don't really care i'm not really worried about that at all um here's that corner of the tank where nothing can really happen here's that area of the tank with the um with the pallies that i'm not happiest with but it's not terrible either, uh, so I don't mind. 
there is, if we come over here, you can see this watermelon chalice is buried and is getting stung. Uh, so I'm probably gonna pop that off and move that. I have a spot for it all the way on the other side of the tank, I think right in here. A lot of these pallies that are in there um, are just kind of brown pallies and I'll just take a piece of uh, shelf rock and drop it in there and put the, uh, put the watermelon chalice on top of it. Uh, this stuff's looking good. Oh, here's a, let's see if we can get this on camera. No, it's not really showing, but oh, there you go. You can see problem with a, uh, a vermitted snail. I'll have to track down where that's coming from. It looks like it's coming from right there. So that actually might be a nice uh, way to nail it with a laser, but we'll see. So much easier just to crush it. But it may also be coming from in there. Um, all of this back here is doing just fine. I'm not going to do anything back there. Uh, I'm keeping an eye out on a couple of uh, Mahanos in this back corner here. Um, I, I don't see any. I, I went through twice and hit them with Apaptasia and they're going, they seem to be just fine. Um, they seem gone. This coral I love, this I got from Australia about three years ago. Not sure what it is. I've got some more of it over here, this big piece of it in the middle. Uh, and it's kind of gorgeous, I think. Uh, it's got some really nice dots um, on the polyps. So I guess that's really about it. Mm, oh, I might move this as well or get some more. This is a blue zoanthid. I might get a few more to put right there as well. But uh, otherwise, you know, everything's doing just fine. Not much of a reason to do more to the tank than, uh, than you need to do. So the main things I'm doing, just for myself, I'm moving this chalice over to here. I'm gonna find this vermitted snail and uh, I'll add whatever new stuff I get, which is probably gonna be in this area here. And that'll probably be it. So thanks for watching. That's how I assess what needs to be done in the tank on an ongoing basis.